Hi everyone, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas like our family did, and I have to tell you, the snow this year was an incredible bonus, wasn't it? You know, Suzette and I have enjoyed having both boys and Maddie with us for the last three days, and we continue to feel blessed to be part of the ECF family. It's been so fun and humbling watching all the ECF kids grow up through the years and see how God is directing them in their lives, their relationships, and their careers, and just their life in general. I hope you'll never take that for granted and keep your kids involved. You know, starting January 7, we're doing a three-week series entitled The Why Behind the What, which will focus on what we are and are not about as a church. You know, we've been discussing in our leadership and staff meetings about the why and that drives our vision statement of love God, connect with others, and serve our neighbors in the world. It's been a compelling conversation that is helping remind us of ultimately why we want to even love, connect, and serve. You'll have to be sure and join us as we unpack this together and then as you unpack it in your small groups during those three weeks. We will then continue with the Ezra and Nehemiah series starting on January 28. As we enter 2018, which honestly doesn't seem possible, wasn't Y2K only a couple years ago? You can read a few of the 2017 highlights below, but I wanted to tell you about a couple things that are already being worked on for 2018. You know, halfway through 2017, we saw an end to providing a hot and hearty breakfast to street teens at New Horizons after many great years of serving in this way. However, starting in January of this next year, we will be sending a food pep prep group on the third Thursday of each month to provide a delicious dinner. Melissa Junker and her team will be heading this up and will be open to anybody or any small group that wants to get on the schedule. So keep that in mind. We're also pursuing some additional opportunities to bless Rose Hill Middle School students and their families throughout the year. The counselors are less hesitant than ever to give us a call and ask if they have specific needs like providing interpreters or supplying breakfast for special events, providing tutoring opportunities, as well as a menu of other ways we can continue to make an impact in this community. We're also bringing back the, the uh, all-church picnic next summer at Tolt McDonald Park. It's already been reserved for Sunday, July 29th, so save that date. I know a lot of you are excited to see that back on the schedule again. These are just a couple things to look forward to, but most importantly, I trust that God will open up many doors of opportunity for you and your life to be a light and to make an impact for the name of Jesus. I would encourage you to make that part of your daily prayer request. Remember, we don't go to church, we are the church, and your week is meant to be a week filled with worship. I'd ask you to read the very short highlight uh, piece below, and also we've put some information below about the last chance to make a year in gift to ECF, which will help us close that deficit gap we are still working to close. God bless you, and if I don't see you this Sunday, Suzette and I want to wish you and your family a very blessed and prosperous New Year.